Okay, let's take a look at um, chapter seven, the capstone. We're gonna start with the performs calculations section, step C and step D. Step C says insert a date function in G8 to tell the difference between the current date and um, the last remodeled date. So we're gonna start with that one first. I'm gonna flip over to Excel and we're gonna put it in this spreadsheet here. This one's fairly straightforward. We're gonna use the years fraction um, function, this function here. So I'm gonna double click to select it. Oops, sorry, just to double click. The start date is gonna be the, the, um, the last remodeled date compared to the number of years since the last remodel. So our last remodel date is F8, and then the, um, that's gonna be our start date for the function, and then our end date is gonna be H2. I don't want the, the H column will always remain the same because we're gonna copy this link down. We don't want the two to change as we copy it down. We don't want the two to change to three, four, five, and six. So I'm gonna put a dollar sign before the two to indicate that that'll always um, stay the same. It's an absolute reference. Actually, we call this a mixed reference where only half of it is absolute. I'm gonna wrap it up with my right hand pr parentheses is present, so I'll press enter on the keyboard. And for the first record, your result should be 13.75. And then you can fill that in down the remainder of the column. Okay, let's move on to step D. Step D asks us to insert a nested logical function, uh, which is an if statement for us, in H8 to display the required pet deposit. Now, a person has to deposit for a pet if the unit has two or more bedrooms and was remodeled within the past 10 years. So that's where we have this nested. We're gonna nest inside an if function, we're gonna nest the and function. And then um, the results, so whether it meets those two tests, then the result will either be $275 or $200. Let's go back to Excel. We can see that this information uh, up for used for this function resides up above um, H8, where we're gonna put it. We have the 10 years, so we'll reference, um, what is that cell, H3. We have the $275, which is H4, and the $200, which is H5. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started and put this one in. It's an if function like we've been doing since our Excel beginning days. So we'll use the if function name. Oops, sorry, I keep clicking too many times. Then our, we're gonna start by inserting our test. Um, so an if statement is just a test. If my kids do their homework, then they get a cookie. So in our case, our test has two parts to it. So we're, this is where we're gonna nest that and function. So I'm gonna select that there. The two tests were, is C8, um, is, does it have two bedrooms or more? So we're gonna take C8 greater than or equal to two. That's the first test. So then I'll type in a comma. Here's our second test. Is GH, the years since the last remodel, less than 10 years. So I'm gonna do G8 less than H3. G8 we want to change as we copy this down. So we're gonna allow G8 to be a relative reference. We want H3 to not change. The H won't change because we're only copying it down. So I wanna put a dollar sign before the three so that the three never changes. The dollar sign means it's gonna be an absolute reference. Okay, so my and function is done. I need to continue, oopsie daisy, sorry, accidentally clicked away from it. I'm gonna click okay, I'm not done with this yet. Our and function is done. So now I can go back to the if statement. The test part is done. Now I get to say what happens if the test is true. Um, what happens if the test is true, the deposit is H4. Again, I have to put a dollar sign before the four so it doesn't change. Then a comma, now I'm ready to say what happens if it's false, that's H5, and I'm gonna put a dollar sign before the five so it doesn't change. All right, it's really long, take a look at it, make sure you understand why it's constructed the way it's constructed, and then when you're ready, right hand parentheses, hit enter. Um, autofill that on down the column and then email me if you have any questions or problems at all.